Hello everyone, so I uh, I got um, the new shaft in today and I'm going to go ahead and put it back on after I get the um, broken piece off so it's looking like I'm going to have to take this bolt off and a couple other screws here somewhere and just so you can see right there's a screw as well right inside the bolt Get camera focus there we go so go ahead and um, take this off but as you can see also that um, it's completely you know covered in there so you don't have to worry about anything getting in there inside this part right here as I mentioned right here where I had some sand come in and when I tipped it over over the weekend it um, all spilt out which I thought went in here as well but since now that I know that there's no way for it to get in there um, I just won't worry about it really just um, get the hose and clean it up more so let me go ahead and get some of these screws off and then um, I'll show the rest of the video so I got the uh, main bolt off as you can see and um, it's just being held on by this screw right here so once you take it off you can okay so after looking closely there's a cover right here that you have to pull out and then there's gonna be a little screw right in there so once you find the um, tool to get that out just have to try and line it up as best as you can and then um, go on from there so I'm gonna go ahead and jump ahead to the next part why I, I uh, get this piece so I got the um, whole piece disconnected from the a arm and I also again if I didn't mention before the front link for the um, spring system you have to take that off as well and then once you get that screw out right here and just come right down and then you can just um, go from there to take the shaft off okay so this upper pin I end up finding that um, there's a lock screw inside of it as well right here where you go as you can see right here so now I can go ahead and slide this off so that's that piece and then eventually I can um, I'll get this piece off part two alright so I end up finding out it was hard to tell since you can't really tell that um, that's a really a screw but you know it's something so but before that I was actually taking this from here and <laughs> trying to whack it out with the channel locks but that didn't go so I got some of my own Allen wrenches and I ended up finding out that Traxxas did not supply all the needed parts most of it they did, but you know not all of it. So I don't know the size of this. Um, I believe I read somewhere it's a, a 1.5 millimeter, and you're gonna get that out. Let's see which side it was on. On one of the sides right there. You're just gonna screw that out out of this right here, and then this will eventually pop out. So I definitely don't want to lose that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you on this one. Like this. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this to the next phase. So now I got that little locking screw out. You just take your, one of your Allen wrenches and then pop the pen out with it 
Sorry, I'm using my um, cell phone to record this right now. And you can see it's popping. There we go. You can see it popped up. And there's the shaft. Uh, you can see from my previous videos, from going to water and stuff, I'm getting some rust buildup. So I'm going to have to take care of that a little bit down the road eventually. So there's my little drive. And then um, go ahead and get started and put the new shaft on. And then um, go from there. So your next part will probably be seeing the um, most of the draft shaft put back on and then um, see you then alright so I got the draft shaft back on and I just want to make a note before um, I forget um, when you put this screw back into the A-arm you want to make sure you don't screw it all the way in because you can end up binding the whole a arm and drive shaft while you're driving and can end up snapping or it could be doing God knows what. So rule of thumb is if you can't remember what it looked like before you took it apart, you can always compare it to the other side or one of the other tires. Or just um, what I've done is go right to the edge of the where the threads were and in the smooth area and then just line up to the edge of the A arm. And then you should be good to go from there. So just get the little CB boot, boot cover back up. Anyways, here's the um, new draw shaft I put in. Um, just a quick overview of what I had to do is the best thing to do is take this link out. Just unscrew it right here. Take this nut off. And to do that, you got to secure lock screw right there so you have to use an allen wrench um, I believe it's the one that comes with the Traxxas tool bag little plastic bag you just take that off and this rubber grommet and here you just pop that off and then take the allen screw out of the A arm and as you can see, there's a little spacing between there. So you just want to make sure that um, you do the same thing when you put it back in. And you should be good to go. So when you do that, you're also going to have to take this top part up here as well. And to do that, again, when you have this shaft off, you're going to bend it over. You can keep this bottom bolt in. And that has nothing to do with it, so you can um, just keep that in. And then lift this A arm up, and then turn this enough to where you can turn it, and you can get another lock screw right out, as you can see right here. You might not be able to see it because it's a little dark, but you get the point. And the same thing with this one over here. You're going to have the same issue when you have it. It's going to be another lock screw right inside this to hold the pin in. As you can see right here, right there's the pin. And once you get that off, you should be able to take the whole thing off. And then put it back together. And there you go. So I hope it's uh, been informative. And uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. And see you in the next video. And please subscribe and like. And leave any comments if you like. Thanks.